Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will see how we can automatically fetch the files from a particular folder location and how we can import it in questing. So, in the previous session, we have seen suppose if you have a set of images in a particular folder location, so we are manually placing the file names in this load image activity. We observe this QR code.png. With the help of load image, it will load the image and it will give it to the encode string activity and then it will generate the string in the message box. So, in this session, what we will do is so here in my data folder, I have a set of images around 7 are here. So, I just want to generate the text from all these images and I want to store it in an Excel. So, here I have the list of items here and I just want to paste all the details from these barcodes into this column. It is nothing but the fetch list data. Okay. So let's start how we can achieve this. So I'm just keeping this as it is. So for fetching the files, first we need to begin with for each activity. So just drag and drop into desire panel so here what i need to do is so here use directory dot files of so provide the folder location double quotes so here my folder location is this scoping here and paste it here So and change the for each type argument as string. Okay. Here instead of for each item, so I will give one index variable called image. Okay. This is the variable which index the files in my for each loop. So here I will place this variable as item. Next item. So now we need to load the files from the for each loop. Okay. So I am just dragging and dropping this uh, load image into this body of uh, this for each loop. So here instead of uh, folder location, my input will be image item. Okay. So this will load the images from my for each image item. So now we have uh, the activity to load the images. So and for iterating purpose, we need a counter. So here I will create one counter variable with the help of SN activity. So search as SN. We'll drag and drop into the body, and I will use one variable called count of integer type here. And I want to implement it by on plus one. So for every iteration, it will get incremented by plus one. And here I will initiate the value as one. So as I have this value one, why? Because so let me convert this into the string as integer. So why? Because here I want to print the values from the second variable. So by default, you have to consider this first row as a header and it will be considered as a zero in position. And let's scroll down. So we are loading the string and we want to encode it the image into a string a string value. Minimize these variables. So now the input of this will be the output of the load image, which is nothing but our your input. Okay, so it is having the input as it's welcome. So let me 
create this decoy image under the React Okay, so here in the encode string. Here we don't need this encode string. I'll just remove this. If I click and click on delete. So now in the decode image, we'll have input, which is nothing but the pick from your image, and it will your output in the form of text, which is nothing but string, and it will display a message box without text. So let's check now whether I are able to get a Right, messages of work from the decoded bits. So there is some error. Check this. So the output of this is uh, QR input. Yeah, I think I gave the wrong. So here in the whole image, uh, QR input. Just a bit here. So let's check this out. You see, so now we got the output from the barcode images, cells, corn, dry fruits, flour, nuts, and rice. Yeah, it as well. So here, yeah, it has, it has a file which is Excel, so that's why it is showing the error message um, that we can ignore so i will move that excel file into other location and what we need to do is just i'll show this here and we need to paste these values into an excel sheet so for that what we can do is we will bring one excel application so back to meeting so inside the app integration you can find this excel application so just here so here uh, input of this will be a text file and Excel file. So here is the file location. This is the file I want to find the data. So in this do activity, what we need to do is we need to use the right side. So here in this I want to write it in the sheet one so I'm just keeping it as sheet one and in the columns which is nothing but the column number plus plus I want to write the values one by one. So here if I write as B it will just identify the first row and it will list all the details. So I want to automatically implement this position one by one. So like uh, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B6, B8. Okay. So for that what we will do is we have already created one counter variable. So we use that variable. So count dot to string. So and here we need to give the output of this decoy image which is nothing but the output string. So now values are all good. So I'm just removing this uh, output uh, text message box. Okay. So now what will happen is once we start the execution, uh, this for each loop will automatically fetch the image files from the specified location and it will decode the images and it will write the um, text values in the Excel sheet, which is anything nothing but this column. In the fetch below the fetch list, we can see the data will be displayed. So I'll just close this XC sheet as well and we'll begin the execution. Mm, I think we have the same issue. Check the 
because uh, of spell yeah if you see this we got only wheat at the top i think there is some issue with the counter variable so before that i will place this separate location so i will rename this as your data to So here I updated the file path. So now I created a document here in this QR and bar folder location. So here we can see file name is QR data tool is updated. And so why we are getting only wait at the top of the fetch data columns? So why? Because so this count so is limited to only body. So Need to update it as full flow. So that's why I'm just changing it to as a equal. So let's check now. Okay. I think still there is some issue with this image. Oh. The output file. Yeah, if you observe this, I got all the data fetched into my required column, so which is nothing but the fetch data. So here I have the data, everything available. So let me sort this. And we will check whether it is showing as per the configuration. Second. Uh, selection. Sort. Yeah, here we sorted both the columns. So here we can see cereals, corn, fruit fruits, flour, nuts, rice, and wheat. So whatever we have used initially to generate the QR codes are showing while fetching the images. So it is showing all the seven items which we have generated the QR codes in this particular folder. So like this, we can keep the validations as well. And suppose if you have a list of items more than this amount, so like uh, we can use like a query or if conditions so to evaluate whether our such item is available in a particular list or not so that is your assignment you can just write and mention the comments if you have any issue so that's all for this session i hope you like this video please do subscribe and please share this video with your friends for more interesting updates so for now thank you